We also accept the taqdeer that Allah has chosen for us. That's what makes us different. We have to accept it. But we don't blame taqdeer for our failure. We don't blame predestiny and the decree of Allah for our failure. If I was lazy and I did not work hard and then I failed, I need to have a little bit of the blame. You know, sometimes you have people, they tell you, make dua that I get married. You know, you make dua, I've got a daughter, make, make dua, Allah gets her married. And they don't give you the other side of the story that you've had proposal after proposal after proposal after proposal. But whatever Allah sent to your door, you just kicked it out. You just kicked it out. If you have a reason to, up, to obviously decline, no problem you may. But for no reason, you don't have that. So you've made such a big blunder by turning away what Allah sent. Now when it's late, you're saying, Subhanallah, you know, make dua, make dua. But Allah says, I sent you so much, but you threw it back. What should I do now? Allahu Akbar. Sometimes we blame taqdeer, but it was my taqdeer. Allah says, hang on, you are also to blame. Like a man who came at the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, and he had stolen, they wanted to cut his hand. He says, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, I believe in predestiny. And it was this time that I was going to steal. So how can you cut my hand? Because it was this time already written next to my name. Intelligent. But Amir al-Mu'mineen was one up. Even more intelligent. He says, Oh, he tells the Jallad that you know what, go ahead with this execution or do whatever you have to because it was predestined that we were going to cut his hand as well. Look at that. It was predestined that we were going to cut his hand as well. You want to play games? Well, we can tell you the reality. This is why we say, Allah sends you a lot. We turn it away. We are to blame as well. But don't let it depress you because you can always pick up from a lesson such as today's. You can always pick up, make tawbah to Allah and start afresh. Go again, try. Don't make the same foolish mistakes as the past. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. May He open our doors. So like I said, don't blame destiny for your failure. But when things have happened to you, where you've tried your best and still it was out of your hands and so on, and something has occurred, you will surrender to the decree of Allah. You've been for every form of chemotherapy, every form of cure, you've tried this, you've tried that, still you are suffering and now you are in your last. May Allah grant us all goodness and Jannah. You need to embrace the fact that I'm going to meet my Allah and I hope in His mercy. Because if I were to ask you, are you going to enter paradise through your deeds or through the mercy of Allah? The correct answer is only and solely through the mercy of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So have hope in the mercy of Allah. That's why I said one thing that makes her different is she believes firmly that Allah loves her. Allah loves her. 